initially, we had all been told that at the scene of, by the business, we'd been told by the business that all of the employees were accounted for. Tragically, that was not the case. Overnight, new information from Tuesday's plant explosion. Jividon tells us it was a miscommunication that led to the late discovery of the body of an employee killed in the blast. The employee was found late Tuesday night by the fire department, hours after the company told emergency services all workers were accounted for. And just a few hours ago, the company explained to us what happened. They said in a statement in part, quote, plant leaders used clock-in information immediately after the incident to establish site headcount. Now, the typical evacuation site was unavailable and the team used two alternative locations. As a result, there was a miscommunication between those teams. WHAS 11's Alex Dieter and photojournalist Aspen Hester report on this confusion and what this caused for emergency workers. At some point they learned, oh, there might be one more person missing. And so I, I don't know, I thought that was an odd way for things to play out. Like they weren't sure about who was in the building. Frustration after rescuers and city leaders were told quickly after the blast that all employees were accounted for. Tragically, that was not the case. The body of a worker was found under the massive debris of the food additive plant hours after the blast. For the first time, we learned how emergency leaders found out. When the family started showing up, we started getting the calls back that said that, hey, there still may be someone else in the building. Louisville EMS Executive Director Jody Myman said once crews were told by a family member that there could be other victims in the building, Louisville firefighters went right back inside. They, they found that person within an hour. Then they had to do a lot of debris removal, and then uh, they were able to get them out in about two and a half, three hours. There was a, a tremendous level of trauma to this victim. A fatal explosion felt by neighbor Matt Rosenfield. And then the house shook, my, the couch shook. I heard glass rattle. That could have ended in more tragedy. Some of those buildings, uh, facilities like that, are, are made to blow out like that. Um, so when they're made to blow out, it doesn't create pressure from an explosion inside. As for the future of the plant in the Clifton neighborhood, Metro Council's Andrew Owen had a blunt answer. Do the neighbors want the company gone? For now, it's too early to say. Alex Dieterer, WHAS 11, on your side. Jividon says it's still too early to say if or when the facility will reopen.